So what's proper manners for asking a Sith Lord out for a drink? You might try. You want to get a drink? All right. You want to get a drink? You know a good spot? And don't say Moss Ela. That stuff is swill. I think I know a place. you something. If you could live anywhere, do anything, what would you do? I always thought the pirate life sounded interesting. Not as interesting as this. Sure, it's fun when you're pulling in a big freighter, but most of the time you're just hiding, waiting. Used to think all I wanted to do was fly and fly and fly. Didn't matter where. But I like working with you. Ship's nice. The company's not bad either. Oh, you like me. How sweet. Yeah, I guess I do. Dash, has your research turned up anything else on this terrorist ghost? Ni pate uvaro wi sandan suare kanidene akjas waluda is. Figures the old lady isn't around when we need her. Gina nakangan gisat. We can cope without her. What did she say about Terrace? <laughs> Something about some Jedi investigating an old Sith ghost. Said she had a Sith on the planet looking into it. Helios Malice, I think. Surprised there's only one ghost. Story goes, some crazy Darth blew the whole planet to pieces while his own Sith were still on it. Not very practical, but it ain't my business. Anyway, I'd hunt out this Malice guy in the Imperial base and hope he has some answers. Helios Malice, you were sent here to investigate a ghost. What did you discover? I am a busy man. I don't have time for... Oh, my lord, I... I forgive me. I didn't recognize you in your new wardrobe. So grand. This is a pleasant surprise. I have heard the most unfortunate rumors. You're better off not believing anything anyone says about me. <laughs> Yes, of course. The grapevine does lie, doesn't it? Now, you are asking about the ghost, yes? Let me see. I assure you I've been hard at work assessing the situation. It's just the Jedi have been guarding the old Jedi Enclave very tightly. That's, um, that's where the ghost first appeared, you see. Don't let it get stuck in your throat. Speak. The ghost appears only sporadically. Not even the Jedi who guard the Enclave can make it appear. They've resorted to using a young Padawan to try and draw the ghost out through blood ties or something. Foolishness if you ask me, but I'm a man of meager understanding. Why do the Jedi care if the ghost appears? My understanding is the ghost doesn't need to appear to be felt, and the Jedi don't like the dark side lingering in their enclave. It seems if the Padawan can make the ghost appear, they can cleanse it, or whatever it is Jedi do with ghosts. I need this Padawan too, in that case. If you wish to make the ghost appear, then I'd say it's worth a try. If you could manipulate this Padawan, her name's Ashara Zavros, into assisting you, you could gain both the ghost and a new apprentice. I can't imagine an impressionable young Padawan being able to resist your particular charms, and it would save you the trouble of fighting a small army of Jedi. I cannot twist her until I understand what tempts her. You might visit the Jedi training grounds by the waterfall. It's abandoned now, dangerous. The data recorders there may hold certain insights into her personality. In the meantime, I will endeavor to learn what I can of her Jedi masters. I can't do 
it. You know what? You want to move a rock? Get a quarry droid. Calm down, Ashara. There is no emotion. There is peace. Try it again. I tried. I tried already. I can't do it. Trust in the Force, and even the oldest and sturdiest of walls may be pulled down. Forget this. If there really are Sith on Terrace, we should be fighting them, not sitting here daydreaming. Patience, Ashara. One must empty oneself of emotion and find the peace with which to act in the Force. Now, try again. The Jedi Code states, There is no passion. There is serenity. Can anyone explain what this means? Ashara. It means the Jedi must be prepared to think calmly, even in intense situations. Passion is a tool of the dark side. There is no emotion. There is peace. It also means Jedi should temper their intuition with wisdom. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. Very good, Ashara. So you see, this line of the code ties earlier elements of the code together. Ashara, relent. That's an order. must learn restraint. Varric is clearly not your equal. There was no reason to press the attack. We're training for war. The Sith won't surrender. We have to drive them back with everything we've got. These are not Sith. They are fellow Padawans. You show great potential, Ashara, but you must temper your fervor for the light with patience. and Cassius will be in the assault group. The rest of you will be support. Any questions? Then take your positions. Master Ryan, I think you put me in the wrong group. You are in the support group, Ashara. You will provide backup to the assault team. That's what I mean. I should be on the assault team. Varric can barely hold a lightsaber. Learning to support your fellow Jedi is an important skill. Varric lacks your confidence, and so requires your compassion and encouragement. But Master Ryan! Enough, Ashara. You have received your instructions. Join the others if you wish to complete your trial. I found the databanks. Our Padawan has a bit of a pride problem. She is a less than perfect Jedi candidate. Most excellent. In my experience, pride and insecurity go hand in hand. My lord, you went searching for crumbs and discovered a feast. She feels as though the Jedi don't trust her strength. I must show her that I do. Hmm. Yes. Excellent thinking. Promise her power or wealth. Something to win her trust. Let me think what could we use. It must be something tempting to a young Padawan. Money, power, knowledge? A handsome young smuggler? That's it. Knowledge. Money, power, love, they're all too obvious, but knowledge? What's wrong with wanting a little knowledge? Ah, yes, here we are. This outpost here used to be occupied by the servants of a powerful Sith. Supposedly, they left behind a holocron when they abandoned the site in haste. Its contents are probably beneath you, but what Padawan isn't tempted by the lure of forbidden knowledge. Do you think she'll really fall for such a trap? Simply pique her curiosity. If you can get her alone, your usual techniques of persuasion will prevail. Of course, you will need to find the holocron first. The abandoned outpost is in a nearby region. I'll transfer the location, but be warned, it's swarming with rat ghouls and other monstrosities. I found the holocron. Excellent news, my lord. And I'm pleased to say that I found the perfect place for you to lure your Padawan to. An area of swamp near enough to Republic territory that you'll feel secure, yet remote enough that you'll be truly at your mercy. Are you angling for some sort of prize here? Certainly not. My duty is to serve. I suggest you contact the girl using a holocommunicator from a nearby Republic soldier. 
In the past, Sith often used dark side holocrons to turn weak-willed Jedi. If you can convince the Padawan to look, she'll fall easily. Shara Zavros, I've discovered an item that I believe might be of interest to you. A holocron of some power. Who are you? How did you know my name? What makes you think I'm interested in a holocron? Holocrons are incredible sources of knowledge. Jedi value knowledge, don't they? There is no ignorance, there is only knowledge. But some knowledge is too dangerous for Padawans. Why call me? Why not take this holocron to one of the Masters? Ryan or Osera? Aren't you a Jedi? Why should you have to defer to them? I... well, yes. I am a Jedi. But even if I was interested, I shouldn't leave the base. This is your chance to show your masters that you're worthy of handling such a delicate item. You're right. I can prove myself. I'll come. Just tell me where to meet you. The swamps near Republic territory. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. If they ask, I'll tell my masters I've gone to train. Sith, I should have known. Don't think you can kill me easily because I'm a Padawan. Even Master Osera can't beat me with a lightsaber. Such intensity. Such fire. Those are Sith qualities. Jedi are not without emotions, but they channel them toward the greater good and the protection of others. Is that the holocron? You surprise me, Sith. I didn't think you people knew how to tell the truth. Strange. I've never held one of these before. I expected it to be heavier. They are remarkable objects. Care to have a look inside? I don't know. The Masters don't let Padawans handle holocrons. They also didn't want you coming here, but it worked out. Well, I guess it can't hurt to look. Behold the teachings of Darth Andral, Lord of the Sith. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. No, what am I saying? Is that what the darkness feels like? There comes a time when we all must reflect on our life's path. It feels good. It feels powerful. No! I should never have used the holocron! I can feel its darkness in me. The Jedi won't have me back now. Not after what I've done. What will I do? Your emotions are a powerful weapon. Embrace them. The Jedi told me to put my emotions aside. Do they know what this feels like? The darkness feels good. But the Order... The teachings... I, I don't know. What do you want from me? The Ghost in the Jedi Enclave. I must speak with him. The Ghost? But... No. Of course. I will do as you say. I'll go ahead and prepare the Enclave. Make sure no Jedi are around. I'm sorry, Sith. I couldn't do what you said. I just couldn't. You were right to tell us, Ashara. The Jedi Enclave is no place for Sith, and this one gives me an uneasy feeling. Blame it on my misspent youth. This is not a flippant matter. I won't have dark side rituals performed in this Enclave. You killed them! You killed the Masters! They are Jedi, after all. This is all my fault. I should have known better than to deal with a Sith. Just summon the ghost now.
Excellent. Truly remarkable. My lord, you are utterly clever and resourceful. Thank you so much for clearing out the Jedi for us. If this is what I think it is, know that I don't take kindly to betrayal. I'm sorry it had to end this way, but you were dead and Darth Thanaton made a better offer. He's made me a lord. Unfortunately, he's also asked that you be executed. My regrets. What's this bloodshed in my grave? I warned you not to summon me again. I warned you to leave me in peace. To keep your Jedi away from my grave. Please, I'm sorry. This Sith needed to speak with you. Your apology is worthless. You must die. She only summoned you because I asked her to. What is happening? What are you... Strange. How long has it been since I felt at peace? Centuries, at least. What do you want that you went through all this effort to speak to me? If you will let me bind you, I promise to free you when my enemies are defeated. Will it get me out of this accursed enclave with its artifacts of the light? Then I accept. Seal the pact with blood, Sith. And my power is yours. I will remember your generosity. My strength is yours, Sith. Use it well. Just do. I took the power that was rightfully mine. What happens now? Embrace the dark side. Come with me. I suppose after all this, that's the only path open to me. Masters, forgive me. There's the easy way, the hard way, and then there's your way. Looks as if we have two new travelers. The ghost and a little Jedi pet. Wonderful. The pirate thinks he has another ghost story for us to investigate, too. My lord, it's Carl, your apprentice. Corrin's here with me. We don't have much time to talk. Thanaton tried to make us his. Claimed you were dead. We managed to flee Drummond Kars, but his lords had been hounding us through every sector. Where are you now? We've set a course for Quesh, a nasty little swamp world. The warfare on the planet should allow us to hide from Thanaton. We need your help. We took something from Thanaton, something to help you beat him. Blast! Ship's hit! Emergency landing on Quesh! Hurry! If Thanaton kills your apprentices, he will appear very weak indeed. It looks like hunting ghosts will have to wait. I gotta come clean with you, Sith. I wasn't always the scoundrel you met on Tatooine. I used to run in the Republic military. Made captain before I wised up and deserted. Call it misspent youth. Sounds like a story I should hear. There's not much to tell. Which is why I didn't bring it up before. Carl sent me a message. I guess bailing him out got the Republic military's attention. Seems they've added treason to the charges of desertion and piracy. Guess they're not big on former officers traveling with a Sith. Anyway, if things get hot, I might need to hop off the radar for a while. I don't need my best pilot getting thrown in a Republic jail. <laughs> Thanks. Good to know you got my back. <laughs>